Well, hey folks, welcome to a very special edition of Not Thursday. Today, my dad and I are in the mountains of southwestern New Hampshire, and we are going to be looking for possibly Native American petroglyphs. As far as we can tell, these have not been documented yet anywhere. It's unknown if these are truly Native American or possibly post-colonial graffiti. So join us for a very special day. Alrighty, so I don't believe it's gonna be too far before we come across our first rock. My dad has been hiking out here since he was a kid and uh, his grandparents and great-grandparents have all told him of these and he's been out here before um, and I've been out here a few years ago uh, but it's still gonna be a little bit of hiking around so we can actually locate them. I believe that this is going to be our first location and this carving is actually on top of the rock. Now, there's not a whole lot of shadow on this, but you can see it is a bow these are the fletchings of the arrow, and it's a drawn bow. Now the last time I was up here, we took compass readings on all that we could find, and the, there are more that are bows and arrows. Some are drawn, some are arrows that are knocked, but not drawn, and then the amount of fletchings uh, also changes. Um, I believe there are some uh, animal, sty stylized animal carvings up there as well. The bows all tend to be facing east, meaning the arrow is drawn or knocked and it faces east. So let's keep heading up the mountain. Well, we've made our way to the top of the mountain, and in this case, it's easier to go to the top and work our way down. So that's what we're gonna do. So what this side of the mountain is composed of is, of course, granite, but it's a series of shelves where the granite casts off and tumbles down. Now I believe that this very large glacial boulder has one also on the east side, which is to your left. And here is also a drawn bow. As we take a little break here, I will mention that my dad and I have reached out to various, uh, quote, learned people, and for the most part, they've expressed no interest in uh, coming and actually doing a professional examination of these. Uh, we've submitted photographs and, and brought people out here. Um, a couple of folks from Canada actually were more enthusiastic than people in our local zone, for whatever that means. Uh, they tend to say that this is post-colonial, um, some sort of 
graffiti. We've documented quite a few of them out here, and it just seems like a whole lot of time to spend uh, just as a lark. Okay, so up and down and up and down these ledge faces, back and forth, I found one that is different. Now this looks very much like a snail to me. Very archaic and very cool. Okay, as I am walking around in circles looking for one in particular, I see one that I didn't see the last time I was here. And of course these are all facing east by southeast. Look at that. Very cool. Now again, I'll reiterate. I'm not an archaeologist. My dad's not an archaeologist. We haven't been able to get any archaeologists out here. Um, they're damn old. Whether they are Native American or post-colonial graffiti, I don't know. I'm not the one to make the judgment call. But they're certainly very archaic and must have taken a very long time to do. And of course they all face the same direction. And in all likelihood there are more out here. We just haven't found them yet. Like I said, my dad's been coming up here for decades since he was a child. And then of course his ancestors told him about these rock carvings, going back to when they were children, children, uh, his great grandmother. So again, we don't know how old they are, but they're damn old. Well, I sort of lost track of my dad. Turns out he's almost back to the truck. Both of us were looking for another carving that is a definite musket shape with the stock barrel and trigger guard and it's about two feet maybe three feet long but uh, to no avail so back to the truck if I can find it I have a photograph that I took a couple of years ago of that musket carving and I will insert it right now there's also a very large bow and arrow carving it's larger than the other ones but it's on a rock that we don't have access to today, but I did a couple of years ago. And it's a dump truck sized rock, and it's on the very top of the rock, probably 15 feet off the ground, and it's pointing south by southeast. And if I can find that photo, I'll put it in right now. Well, my dad and I certainly hope you've enjoyed this very special Not Thursday. Until next time, Enjoy your not Thursday.